What's up? I'm Triple Shooter. Welcome back to another FPS breakdown. In this one, we're covering all of the options in Space Marine 2. So starting from the very top with the quality preset, there's a very small difference between options with the most noticeable change when you're moving down to low where a ton of shadows and things like that vanish. You'll gain about 10% between ultra and high, and there's almost no difference between high and medium, then another 16% gain from medium to low. So here I'd recommend probably medium, if not high, if you're getting the same FPS there. Then volumetrics, I couldn't see a difference here. However, the FPS did change. There's a 10% gain from medium to low, and there's almost no difference between high and medium. Then cloth simulation, this is usually a CPU limited effect, and I'm pretty sure here it's almost no difference. But for the lack of a better word, there is a noticeable difference between high and medium, where there's a lot less whooshiness with the lower options, and especially on the lowest option where there's almost no whooshiness at all. The FPS showed almost no difference, and I guess I was GPU limited at least most of the time, so that's probably why. Then screen space reflections, SSR off is noticeably bad, and the difference between default and high is that default's just a little bit more blurry. It still looks about the same though. However, you'll notice that the FPS between off and medium is about the same, and the FPS drop of about 12% from medium to high just isn't really worth it. Then effects. I couldn't really see a difference anywhere except for blood on your play model. When you're entering and exiting fights, there'll be blood on your play model, and it'll fade over time. On the higher options, there's more of it on you, with the lowest option having absolutely none. However, FPS isn't really affected here at all, so have this as high as you want. Then screen space ambient occlusion. High and default have almost no difference visually, but when you're moving to off, there's a huge difference, which is especially visible on the walls of the shot. Default is the lowest that I would go here, with off losing just too much, and there's almost no FPS difference between them. Then texture resolution. This is a completely VRAM dependent option, and of course here it's no different. You can expect almost no FPS impact between these options if you have around 6 to 8 gigs of VRAM in your graphics card. However, there is a huge visual quality difference for each step that you move up. Then shadows. In most places, there's almost no difference between these options, if not a very slight one. And between high and low, you'll only really lose a few shadows here and there, with most of them sticking around. And FPS-wise, it kind of reflects in that way, and that there's almost no difference between them, except for high that consistently drops lower in the 1% lows than medium and low. Then texture filtering. This is mostly visible on things like grates, and of course, the options menu shows a railroad, and of course, the higher the better, but there's almost no FPS difference between these, so I'd recommend just cranking it all the way up. Then details, if you don't see the snap between these on the screen behind me, then you'd probably not even notice the difference at all. FPS is around the same within margin of error, so pick what you want here. Then upscaling, here DLSS looks fantastic between almost all of the options with a slight blur on ultra performance. Each step does improve your performance with around a 1-2% to gain in FPS, and you can expect that from almost all upscalers in this game, the same sort of similar FPS jump. FSR 2 looks good on quality and balanced, but you'll notice a slight blur moving down to performance, and especially a large change and drop in quality to ultra performance, but the meltiness of textures is just sort of an effect of having the lower resolution. This is sort of visible on DLSS and, well, we'll touch on TAA in a moment. Between these options, there's almost no FPS impact, which is a little bit strange in my testing, but of course you should expect a 1-2% to difference, at least if you're CPU limited. Then finally, TAA. Just no, just if you're making a game, don't even include this option. Here, it makes the game completely blurry, and especially so for each step that you move down, and it's just, it's terrible. Please, just don't do this. There's even a weird pulsating effect on the lowest option that's just, no, please. Finally, motion blur. While there is an off option, you can't actually turn this off at all. There is a noticeable difference in the amount of motion blur between these, but that's about it. There's a small gain in performance for each step you move down, but it would be nice to see a completely off option where it's actually actually completely off. Anyways, that's really it for this quick guide. Hopefully you enjoyed this little breakdown. And of course, if you'd like to see a full optimization guide, you'll find one linked down below. My name's been Troubleshoot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.